Hello everyone, I'm Siddharth Rakesh, a senior software engineer uh, working in the UI team here at Rubrik. So if you want to know more about Rubrik, we'd be happy to chat. You can reach out to us. We're all here. So after the talks, you can just, you know, come over and we can talk about what we do here at Rubrik and what's our work like. Cool. So today I'll be presenting uh, how to create customizable dashboards in UI applications. So as you know, right, in today's data-driven applications, users often need a way of visualizing their data. So sometimes they may need a way to visualize their metrics or their trends over time. So you will often see usages of donut charts, area charts to represent the same. We uh, show these visualization tools in dashboards and we'll talk about how you can easily build such dashboards. In particular, we'll be talking about a library called React Grid Layout which is used for creating grid-based layouts in React. It allows us to create responsive, draggable designs, and it also has the functionality of changing the position and sizes of the widgets in the dashboard. Next slide. Yeah. So over here, you can see an example of how this library works. So as you can see, the user here is changing the position and the sizes of the widgets in their dashboard like they're dragging and resizing it using mouse interactions. Okay. So coming to more about this library. So this library has many benefits, which really helps us build such dashboards. So it has a responsive design, which means that you can have responsive layouts for different screen sizes. So uh, while building a dashboard, you may want to have a particular layout in a smaller screen size, and you may want to have a different layout in a wider screen. So this library allows you to set your own breakpoints, set your own uh, you know, width breakpoints for your screen, and build your layouts accordingly. It allows you to create draggable items so that the user, based on their needs, can customize their dashboards by you know, uh, dragging and dropping widgets uh, to uh, suitable positions for them. Each user's requirements are unique, and we need to provide users the way to customize their dashboards to meet them. Uh, this library is highly customizable. It allows you to uh, set the, you know, whatever uh, item gap you want, the margin for your dashboard. It allows you to customize the behavior uh, a lot. And it is easy to use. Like compared to other libraries, which we'll compare it with, like it has a very simple API and allows you to uh, very quickly and easily build your dashboards. Uh, if you also look at some of the drawbacks of this library, it's uh, not as active as it used to be before. Over the last year, there is some somewhat lower activity uh, over this, and it has some missing features, which we'll also talk about in more detail later, which is like, it lacks the ability to drag and drop external items inside the dashboard. It doesn't provide you the ability to uh, fix the sizes for the widgets to a certain set of sizes, uh, et cetera. Yeah, as we talked about before, like some of the practical applications which this library can be used for is how to uh, create dashboard layouts, how to create layouts for data visualization, and building interactive user interfaces, drag and drop, resizing, et cetera. So if we compare this library with um, other libraries which offer similar functionalities, like uh, so some of the major competitors in this space are Gridster, Packly, uh, Packery, Gridly, et cetera. So compared to these, as you can see, that React Grid layout is much more widely used. Uh, it is orders of magnitudes you know, more used than the other competitors. and. Uh, like some of the advantages it has over the other competitors is that it is completely React based. Like the others are heavily uh, dependent upon jQuery, but this is like completely built in React, no jQuery. And it offers a rich set of functionality while also maintaining a simple API. Like Gridster and Packery do have a rich set of uh, functionality, but uh, they're also harder to use as compared to React Grid layout. Uh, over And you can see that uh, based on the trend, React Grid layout has grown popular over the years. Uh, it has been around for a long time. So, and it is it continues to grow popular. Okay. 
So let us see how, how we can use this library for building a dashboard, right? So let me open a few examples of basic examples of how we can leverage this library for building a dashboard. So over here, what you can see, like this is an official example for React Grid layout in their website. You can find more examples which, with more advanced use cases uh, in the GitHub repository for React Grid layout. So if we take a look at this part, right? Like the main thing which you need to specify while building a dashboard is a layout. So a layout you can think of is just a definition of, you know, what is the position and width and height of these items. So you can see while generating the layout, we have specified the X, Y, which marks the position of an item and also the width and height, basically the dimensions of a widget item and an ID. So if we pass an array of such, uh, you know, configurations for each widget item, it constitutes a layout, which is then passed to React Grid layout. Sorry. Oh, okay. So let me just zoom into this a little bit more. Uh, is this visible now? Okay. Yeah. So as I was saying, like you have to define a layout, uh, which you can then pass to React Grid layout. And you can also pass things, you know, such as how many columns do you want in this? So it's a grid based system. You can define the number of columns which you want. You can pass that. You can also pass things like margin or item gap or and so on. So it's highly customizable in that sense. And if we take a look at how that works like, so this is a live example of React Grid layout. So as you can see, it allows me the functionality of changing the size as well as the position of items. Like I can drag and drop things wherever they like. And you can also see how smoothly the other elements move into their new positions based on where I'm dragging items into. So it tries to avoid collisions. Uh, like that's the default behavior. You, uh, it will want to avoid collisions. So it will, when you try to move an element, it will automatically adjust the positions of other elements. So yeah, you can see that intelligently determines new layouts based on the user interactions. Okay. Yeah. So coming back here. Right. So as I mentioned before, uh, there are some drawbacks while using this library as well. So something which I mentioned earlier was like, it does not uh, natively allow the functionality of dragging and dropping items outside the dashboard into the dashboard. So that is a use case which some of us may need, right? You may want to add more widgets to your dashboard, right? So um, that is something which we have customized into in our own uh, fork of this library here at Rubrik. We created, uh, we added the functionality of dragging and dropping external items into the grid. We have also added the ability to uh, resize the items to specific sizes. So sometimes uh, free form resizing is maybe counterproductive, right? If you just resize your widget to anything, like it can break the functionality, like it may not be as functional, it may not look as good. So we have also added the ability to resize uh, items to specific sizes only, like define a set of sizes for the item, it will only grow to that, it can't be anything else. Uh, to keep our um, items visually appealing for all sizes, we have made our uh, widgets, our items adaptive to the new sizes. So, you know, regardless of what new size you select for your items, it should still look good. It should adapt to the new size. That is something which we have built. I'll just uh, demo that shortly. Uh, we have also added the ability to save widget layouts to the database. So. Uh, we would uh, want that whatever customization the user does, right? If you have uh, specified a particular layout of the items while, uh, you know, while customizing your dashboard, you will want to save that configuration and be able to use it again next time you visit the dashboard. So we've also added the ability to save widget layouts, reset them as well. Yeah. Uh, we have also built a widget library which allows you to pick and select which uh, widgets you want to uh, add to the dashboard. So now I'll move on to a demo of what customizations we have provided for the dashboard view. Okay. So this is, uh, this is how our usage of React Grid layout in our application. Like some of the data has been obfuscated for privacy reasons. Uh, but essentially what we have done is we have 
use this library for creating this customizable view. So we trigger the customization mode by clicking on this button, edit dashboard. And now the widgets here will be uh, resizable, re, you know, uh, rearrangeable. So for example, if you consider this widget over here, I can change the height. And on changing the height, you will notice that the content of this widget adapted to its new size. Be, uh, like the donut chart became bigger, the legend also changed to support the new size for this widget. So, and all our widgets are like that, like, they, you know, they can adapt to the new sizes and change their layout accordingly. You can also, you know, drag and drop your widgets wherever you want. You can rearrange them as per your requirements. In addition to this, we have also created a widget, like, uh, you know, a uh, sidebar a library, which can be used for dragging and dropping new widgets into this dashboard. So for example, if I want to pull in a widget from another dashboard inside this dashboard, I can easily do so by dragging and dropping this. And you can see that this new widget is now part of this dashboard. So this can make sense for users who may want to create their own unique views for themselves. Like, as I mentioned earlier, every user is unique. They can have their own requirements. They want to have their own views. So this is um, a way in which we provide this power to the users, right? Uh, and as I mentioned, like we have also built in the save functionality. So I can save this dashboard layout. And whenever I visit this page again, right, I will see, still see my customized view, which can then be reset back to the original. Okay, uh, you can also remove widgets if you'd like. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's all I wanted to present today. Any questions?